Design systems are used by some of the biggest companies in the world. Your Shopify's, Airbnb, Stripes. These companies that have hundreds of designers working in teams to build and maintain their apps use design systems. Now, when I started working with Antler around four months ago, they didn't have any design system for the website. So as a web designer, UX designer, I wanted to start building out a design system because there are just so many benefits to having one. I'm gonna take you through that design system I'm building in a second, but before I do that, I wanna explain why you might wanna build a design system in the first place. Basically, a design system is a set of principles, documentation, and components that make up your website, application, or web app. And there's actually lots of benefits to having a design system. First of all, all those pre-built components means you can assemble new pages of your app or website much quicker than doing it from scratch. If all designers are using the same design system, then all the pages of your website or app are gonna look the same. And when you're on a big team of designers, consistency is really important. Now I'm just gonna dive in and show you the design system that I've started building. Now keep in mind, this is a very early design system. I've been working on it for the last few months and we're here in Figma. We've got our title page here, our cover page, the first page I want to show you is the website layout page. Now, on this page, we've got some pretty cool things. Um, again, just starting off with some colors. Colors might have its own page in your design system one day, but when you're just starting out, I've just made it in this one frame. So we've got our colors here, the, the brand colors of Antler. We've got some icons here, and we've also got some objects that we use in our brand. Again, each of these could have its own page one day, but we're just starting out so I've had them on the same website layouts page. Now, the really cool thing about this page is we have all our components. Again, we can see here, this is the nav component. We have the footer component. We have some button components here. So I have those documented here, but the most, the coolest thing about this page are all these pre-built layouts and I've organized them by the content type. So here we've got our hero header sections where we can see these are all ready to drop and go to start building a page. We've got our standard content sections here. We've got some call to action sections, team sections. We've got our portfolio slider display here. We've got our blog posts all designed. We've got some pop-up models that I was designing before. And of course we have our web forms. So the really cool thing about this is that if the marketing department contacts me saying, hey, we need this page built by tomorrow, I don't freak out because I have to do everything from scratch. I have this component library here that I can literally drag and drop, duplicate layouts and get that page done in a matter of hours. Let's go into the page building page here. Now, this is just a page where if I'm looking to build a new page on the website, I just do it on this page here. I can switch between the website layout page and then copy and paste those onto this page here where I can actually start building. You can see a couple of examples here and this is a page I'm not designing yet, I'm just planning it. But this is really my workspace for building out new pages for Antler. We have our text and spacing page. So on text and spacing, we have a bit about our fonts, how they're supposed to be used, what types of fonts we're using. Because we use Webflow at Antler, I'm actually including some development principles in this design system. So we have here a label for our CSS classes and we have our HTML tag here. We're gonna see these shortly. We have units of measurement, so I've explained of course, pixels are for Figma, but in Webflow we use rems. Going across to our text styles here, we have our fonts. We also have all our headings that we use and you can see that we have the Webflow class and the HTML tag applied uh, so that we can actually use the same system in Webflow, which is pretty cool. We have our paragraphs all laid out here. And as you can see, if another designer was to come and take over from me, all they need to do is follow the system and they're gonna be building the same types of pages as I was before. And this means for a company, a design system is actually a really valuable piece of documentation because it allows the company to scale. Finally, we have our spacing system right here. The components page here is empty. I was gonna put the navigation buttons, all the components here, but I think I'll do that at a later point. 
we have a page for our portraits here. Now this page is very, very dead. I literally use it to make one portrait so far, but at Antler we have these interesting shapes that we use to make portraits. And so I just wanted to use this page as a workspace for making those. Next up we have our images. And this is just a big image bank of images that we can use at Antler that are approved for the website. So anytime I find uh, a new set of images that will be good for the website, I can actually just grab them and put them on this page. The benefit of this page with images is that anytime I need to build a new page, I have some ready images to use straight away. I don't have to go finding every time for a new set of images. I can just come to this page where you can see we've got some nice high quality images from Antler events or ones that have been approved by the company. Now we have an inspiration page here, which I'm quite excited about building some new layouts, some new types of pages for Antler. And whenever I see a design that I like, I just screenshot it and put it on this page. You can see that this is probably a page that I'm looking at doing for Antler soon. I wanna be using some sort of animation with founders here. So I grab this screenshot. I also like this one from Dribble. I like this call to action here with the same type of moving cards. Again, I'm just gathering things that I like and putting them in this one page. So we're not even really in the design system anymore. This is just now a page that is for inspiration. And finally, we have got open graph here. It just allows me to make these open graphs really quick. All I do is just duplicate it and then I fill it out with a new image and then a new name for that page. So I hope you found something interesting about the design system that I'm building. This is a work in progress and I'm by no means an expert on design systems, but I would love to learn from you. If you think there's something in the design system that could be improved or could be changed, let me know in the comments. I would love to learn from you as well. And I hope that you've picked up something interesting from this video. Subscribe for more interesting content about being a designer. I'm gonna be sharing more content about my, my day job, which is this type of design uh, with you guys so you can learn from real life scenarios and real life things that I'm doing at my job. So subscribe if you're interested in learning more about that and I'll just see you in the next video.